Let us take one simple example G s equal to say 10 by s plus 10. Okay. What will be the frequency response for this? That means, how is this quantity 20 log of g varying with frequency omega? How is it varying? If I keep on changing s, the value of s, so this will be 10 by 10 plus j omega. Okay. 10 by 10 plus j omega, I might as well write this as 10 by 10 into 1 plus j omega by 10. Okay. So, that gives me 1 by 1 plus j omega by 10. What will be the magnitude? g magnitude will be 1 by 1 plus omega squared by 100. Okay. Now, when o omega is very, very small, that means omega is much less than 10, g will be tending to how much? This is negligible, so it will be 1. So, 20 log of g will be log of 1 is 0, so it will be approximately equal to 0 dB okay, when omega is much less than 10. When omega is much greater than 10, if I call omega by 100, uh, omega by 10 as x, it is basically 1 plus x squared okay, under root. So, this x squared will be dominating over this term. So, I can approximate this to 1 by omega, 1 by root over of omega squared by 10. So, omega by 10 okay. and how much is this going to be? This will be 10 by omega. Okay. So, when omega is equal to 10, how much is it? 1. So, I will choose omega equal to this is omega. Okay, let me take, uh, let me draw it here fresh. Let this be 1, this be 10, this be 100, and so on. When omega equal to 10, omega by 10 is equal to 10 by omega is 1. So, log of 1 is 0. If I increase the frequency tenfold, say you take any quantity log of omega, log of omega and at omega equal to omega 1, say log of omega 1 and if I increase the frequency tenfold, at some other frequency omega 2 equal to 10 times omega 1, what will be the value log of 10 omega 1? How much is this? If I increase the frequency 10 times from any value omega 1 is say 5, then from 5 to 50 if I go, then this will be log of 10 plus log of omega 1. That means, compared to the previous value log of omega 1, I am getting an additional term of log of 10 and log of 10 is 1. So, if I multiply by the 20 log of g, so it will be 20 into 1. So, I get an additional 20 dB increase for a function log of omega 1. Now, here omega is in the denominator. If I take log, it will be minus log of omega. Okay. So, minus log of omega will have minus 20 dB additional term for every decade increase in the frequency, is it not? So, whatever be the value at 10, 
omega equal to 10, omega equal to 100 will give me an additional value of 20 dB. It could have been any frequency, I can take say 12, then at 120 that is 10 times that frequency whatever was the value I will go down by 20 dB that will be the new value of the function at 120. So, you take any frequency and 10 times that frequency the jump will be by 20 dB. So, if I draw a line at omega equal to 10 in this example it was 1. So, at 100 it will be 20 dB, at 1000 it will be 40 dB, another additional 20 dB. So, at every decade all right, if I increase the frequency tenfold, I will always get a 20 dB additional term. Here it will be in the negative region. So, I can join these points 20 dB at 100, 40 dB at 1000 and so on by a line. So, it will be approaching either this one or this one as the frequency increases. So, these are the two asymptotes corresponding to a function 1 by s plus 10 okay it is 10 by s plus 10 okay so the actual frequency response may be going close to this it will be meeting this asymptotically this one also asymptotically so the actual curve will be somewhat like this okay 